Now, a London tennis club has failed in its attempt to replace ball boys and girls with dogs. The Wilton Club, which lies less than two miles from Wimbledon, had tried to teach the pooches to fetch stray balls and return them at lightning speed. Um, but, and there is a but, and I'll take up the story of what exactly that uh, issue was uh, with Stephen Mendel, uh, who is from Many Pets, uh, the company that launched uh, the trial, uh, pet insurance company, Many Pets. Uh, Stephen, great to have you with us. And um, yeah, where did this idea come from then? So thank you very much for the opportunity to talk about this and very happy to be here. Uh, we're passionate about pets, we're passionate about dogs, um, and we thought this was a great opportunity to give um, the pets in the UK an opportunity to do what they love the most, which is to chase after balls. Um, and to bring that together with Wimbledon, which is a great British institution. So the love of pets, the love of pets and their balls and Wimbledon all brought together. We thought it was a great opportunity and we didn't want to miss it. So that was the theory. What about the practice? Well, the practice, I think we should say it's work in progress. Um, at the Wilton Tennis Club, you're right, we did that trial. And, and the results varied from spectacular on one end of the spectrum to something varying towards chaos on the other end. <laughs> um, I, I think it's fair to say that we kind of have some work in progress and, and we've got a long way to go before we'll be ready for next year. But we're optimistic. So I believe you had Hugo, Huxley, Dennis and Daisy in action. We've been showing our viewers some pictures of, of the gorgeous dogs. Um, but did they actually want to give the, if they retrieved the ball, did they actually want to give it back? Because I know my dog doesn't. <laughs> Right, so mixed. So we we have a, a, a black lab called Satchmo and he loves to bring the ball back. Uh, comes with a bit of slobber at the same time, which is also something we need to work on. Um, but, you know, it's mixed and, and, and some training is definitely required. And uh, did they respond to treats or not? Oh, yes. Treats was really important. Having secret stashes treats on the sideline was definitely what was the trick required to get the dog to drop the ball if they were a little bit more reluctant to do so than some others. So perhaps a few hitches if you were to translate this into using them at tennis matches. And also, um, I, I think if you use them, they, they could possibly steal the show and distract everyone away from the tennis players themselves. Yes, but the tennis players also like them. In those kind of nail-biting moments, the pets provided a degree of calm that the, the tennis players liked themselves. So it's not all bad. OK, so a bit of ball fetching, a bit of pet therapy. It all sounds good. Uh, Stephen, thank you very much uh, for talking to us. Stephen Mendel there from Many Pets who, who were you. trialling that idea. And it's very nice to bring you um, a lighter story, a lovely story uh, today.